Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to compare table schemas using simple SQL scripts in Oracle. Have you ever been in this situation where you need to do troubleshooting? Your boss says, the application just crashed. Quick, go fix it. And you got to go fix it. But to fix it, you first need to find it. And you think to yourself, ugh, somebody changed something somewhere, but what and where? And then after an hour of misdirected troubleshooting and rabbit holes that you fall down, you discover the root cause. Somebody ran a script that reduced the size of two varcar fields from 20 and 25 down to 15 and 15. So the tables changed. That was the root cause. Or maybe you've been in this situation trying to figure out how to test. So your project manager says, well, the good news is Project X is finally ready to deploy to stage. And you say, that's great. And then the project manager says, well, the bad news is we're not sure everything was properly managed through source control for the release. Uh-oh, you think to yourself. And then the ugly news. Project manager says, you'll need to compare against dev and test environments to check for any missing elements that didn't make it out to stage. <laughs> some specific examples of table schema comparisons where you take schema snapshots, drop them to text files, and then compare either over time or against different instances are as follows. Number one, environments. Maybe you want to compare dev to stage or stage to prod. Number two, versions, releases. Maybe you want to comp compare the current versus prior schemas. Number three, events. Maybe you have a data refresh that occurs on weekends. Maybe you have some other schedule change and you want to compare before versus after schemas. And finally, number four, history. Maybe you want to automate taking daily schema snapshots by running the script or scheduling it to run and output the results to a text file. And that way you can have, say, 60 days of historical snapshots. And any of those days can be your before versus after when you do your comparisons to try and troubleshoot a problem. One quick caveat, this script is limited to tables and views only. And although I've built tools that compare all elements, like when test gears MS SQL diff merge that I built about 10 years ago, the decision was made not to do so here because 80% of the time the root cause is in the tables and keys. So we just keep things simple by avoiding functions and sort procedures and triggers and all the other things we could go into. And 80% of the time, this is important, the average user lacks permissions to go deeper into the sort procedures and stuff anyway. So we're just keeping it simple, going for the Pareto principle, covering what 80% of the need is with simple scripts. So how do you run the scripts to compare, for example, environments? Well, the process looks something like this. First, you start out with the simple schema dump script. And we're going to see where to download that in a minute from GitHub. And then you run that against that script against the database. In this case, we're going to run it against dev. And then we output the results of the script to a text file. So then we have a dev schema snapshot the table, the field names, field sizes, all that good stuff in a text file. Then we run the script again, but this time against stage. And we output it again, but this time against the stage snapshot. And then you use your favorite text diffing utility, and you compare the two text files, and you get a side-by-side -side comparison that quickly identifies, hey, here's the few areas that are different. How do you run the script to compare against history? Well, the process looks something like this. You start out with the same simple schema dump script. You run it on day one, get a snapshot. Run it again on day two, get a snapshot. Day three, get a snapshot. Day four, get a snapshot. And then on day five, you run it and get a snapshot. The text file, but an event happens and you want to know, oh, I want to compare day five against day one. Use your text diffing tool, load up the text file for both days and compare. And you'll quickly identify any elements that are different and the demo for downloading the scripts. Uh, go to, in a browser, github.com slash data research labs, CTPS, just like that. When you land on the homepage, go to the SQL scripts directory, click it. Uh, it isn't gonna look like this for you when you get there. There'll be Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, etc. But right now, it's Oracle and schema diff all in one link. Work your way through, browse down, and then you'll see the simple schema dump.sql file. You can download that, or I'm just going to go ahead and click it and click the raw button and click inside, control A, control C. There, I've copied the entire script and I'll paste it on my desktop to notepad and then I'm set up and ready for the second part of the demo. And now the demo for capturing the schema snapshot, basically running the script. Now I'm going to use dbeaver 
an open source universal IDE. I can point it to Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, whatever. And I have a demo database that came with an Oracle Express that I installed, and it has an HR schema, and it has a bunch of tables, and I'll just go double click the countries table. I don't really like that particular view. Let's look at it this way instead. There's the columns in the table, sizes, etc. information. The, let's look at that one, is this one better? That's four columns, regions, columns, a couple of columns. And there's a view too, and the script will cover views. And there's the columns for the views, a bunch of columns. It ties it all together. So, that's the schema. Here's the script. This is the script in the prior demo that we just downloaded. It has some notes, information on where to get it. It's a CTE approach, common table expression with variables. The only variable you're ever gonna change in here is the schema name. So when you go run this script against your database, you would just open it up, change it from HR to say DIP or Apex 04000, whatever, whatever. And, and you could even, well, run it against one schema for now. You can change the script to run it against multiple schemas. But for now, change that and then that's it. You just execute the script. Uh, before I execute it, really quickly, I'll walk through the blocks. There's a base table where it goes out against the information schema, the all tab comments, and it figures out that oh, I want the schema to be HR. So go grab a list of all the tables and then start adding on, tacking on metadata for the tables and tacking on data type and tacking on whether it's nullable and tacking on whether it's or what its ordinal position is, column one, column five, tack on or stitch that all together, and then keys. It goes in and looks at, up the primary key, unique key, foreign key, and takes all the columns, puts them in a common delimited list with list egg, etc. And then it ties it all together at the end. It gives you nice output. So there we go. We're going to run this script pointing to the HR schema. And run it. Uh, yeah. Pause. Okay, try it again. I set the database up, configured the connection, and I'm gonna execute the script, and it runs, and there it is. I have my output. And I had it format so it doesn't repeat HR and doesn't repeat the table name over and over. It's just, it's easier to find the differences. So there's my script, and I can save it out various different ways. I'm just gonna go old school, highlight, control C to copy it, and minimize this guy. I'd already run this, what, two days ago? And now I have an empty 0KB file set up. So I'm going to double click that. I'm going to paste my contents in, hit X, yes to save it, and voila. Notice the size difference. So let's go in here on the next demo, and we're going to diff these. And the demo for comparing the schema snapshots. I like source diffs, uh, source gears diff merge, and it's a one time download. I recommend you go look that up, sourcegear.com diff merge download, and just download it and install it. It's freeware. There's, it's, you'll, you can install it once and you'll be good for years. So I recommend that one or another one I haven't used in several years, but which is a good one that's also free, is exam diff. Not pro, that costs money if you need it, but just exam diff itself. Presto stop. So if you go here and you can download that as well. But I'm going to demo with source gear diff merge. And here are my three files from the prior demo. And I want to compare the file I just created, snapshot, schema snapshot, right now, today's date, May 7th, 2021. I want to compare it against the file I created two days ago. So I highlight both of the control keys. So click with the mouse pointer, control key down, click with the mouse pointer, right click. And once diff merge is installed and you run it one time, you get this nice context sensitive help, which I love. So there's a diff merge and I can compare it. So I want on the left, the older 05 and on the right, the 07, the 57. So I'll click that. It's gonna ask me again, I could swap them. You'll notice that the uh, date times change, but I want 05 on the left because that's the earlier version. Hit okay and voila. There's my differences. I really like this side-by-side -side view. Oops, shrink that down and widen it out. And so this red means, yeah, there's a lot of differences. What are they? Uh, it's just white space. And so what's going on is 
in the 5.5 version, I had a bug. I wasn't pulling the view in, and there you go. Well, I also wasn't pulling in the job history. Interesting. Huh. But you can see with uh, the side-by-side -side comparison of the text diffing tool, you can see that, oh, there's some spaces in there, department, department ID, department DEPT is abbreviated, but here it's spelled out. So the field name changed, field name changed there and there. Uh, yeah, that's just a white space issue. Manager, department, they flipped. So 10 is manager, but 10 used to be department ID. So the ordinal positions changed. I can scroll over and I can see four and six, six and four. Yeah, the data type just switched with the field. And there's the view that I was looking for. Oh, interesting. The employee details view, yeah, it's missing. This is, the left is a bug. So it used to pull in the view, but not the name. Oh, interesting, but it had all the columns. Huh. Anyway, I fixed the SQL to include the name as well. Jobs in this job history is present now, but for whatever reason was not present before. So there's something going on, probably backups at work or something. And I installed it on 5.5. I don't know. I'm not going to dig into it, but it's interesting. So in the two days that changed, this block got added in. Job history. Interesting. It is some kind of system table. It's in the database, the HR database. Huh. But there you have it. This is the whole goal of running the SQL schema dump scripts is to get your dump scripts over time or across environments and compare one to the other. And you can imagine, yeah, this example is tiny. I just have what, 84 lines. I've worked on some that had over 30,000 lines of schema. They're giant databases at work. And when you want to, and they're more than just tables. So, I mean, they have all the SQL store procedures and functions and everything, but they are golden for when you want to find the needle in the haystack of some little tiny property that changed. And granted, those processes dumped everything, not the limited 80% or less that we're doing with just the table names and column names and view names and stuff. But anyway, this this should help you. If, if you're a typical data analyst with limited permissions and you want to go in and find out what changed in a great big schema, what tables and columns change. Wow, you're still watching. Thank you. And bonus tip for you. This script uses the information schema. And here on Wikipedia, why that matters, those information schema views are ANSI standard. And that means they're universal. And that means that it's cross-platform with light syntactical changes. You can use these scripts in Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, Sybase, and PostgreSQL. And all those platforms have tables and views, so it's not much change. If you want to on your own, you can go deeper into the information schema views, and different platforms will have different elements, but you can go from there. Anyway, information schema views, pretty neat. Thank you for watching, and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also, check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.